Hi, this is Ty Hyderali. We're plaintiff's lawyers. We concentrate in employment law in New Jersey and New York. Very interesting case that came out of the appellate court about 10 days ago, I think it was July 18th, uh, that dealt with the issue of national origin discrimination. So Ms. Okakpu is a school teacher, worked for the Irvington School District, and the Irvington School District didn't much care for her. So they said, well, we're not gonna renew your contract. Uh, we're not going to renew you for next year because of three things. Number one, uh, there's been some parent complaints about you. We have an issue with that. Number two, uh, your performance uh, sucks. They may not have used quite those words. And number three, uh, we don't like the fact that you're hanging the Nigerian flag outside your classroom. And those were the three articulated reasons why the school district said, Ms. Okaku, you're out. So she sued uh, and the uh, Irvington School District filed a motion to dismiss uh, saying that there's uh, numerous reasons for getting rid of Ms. Okaku, there's, therefore it's not discrimination. And the court below agreed and threw a case out. Ms. Okaku appealed to the appellate court and she said, listen, one of the three things that Irvington says is that I put the Nigerian flag outside my classroom. That's direct evidence of discrimination. And therefore, I should use a lower burden of proof under a case called Price Waterhouse as opposed to a, uh, a McDonnell Douglas uh, type analysis. And those analyses get very complicated. I'm not going to get into them as far as the uh, the differential between having direct evidence and circumstantial evidence other than to say this. When you have direct evidence of discrimination, it's actually an easier case for you as a potential plaintiff to pursue in the courts as opposed to where you have circumstantial evidence of discrimination. And the court in this case said, you're right, Ms. Okakbu, that is true. However, we don't believe that just because they had one of the three things being that you put the uh, Nigerian flag outside your classroom, we don't think that's direct evidence of discrimination. I don't know if I agree with that one, but in any case, luckily the court said, however, uh, Ms. Okaku, we think though, the fact that that is one of the three things the board put in the reasons for non-renewing you is enough circumstantial evidence to say this case should go forward. So at the end of the day, good end result for Ms. Okaku and for teachers in the state of New Jersey. This is Ty Hyderali. Be safe and be well.